In today's technological society, I think it's hard for us to think in terms of a period in time when men saw nature as something unknowable. The scientific method is, I think, one of the greatest gifts of human culture in allowing us to separate myths and dogma from reality. Many of the roots of the scientific revolution in Europe um, are anchored in alchemy, attempts to synthesize gold out of base metals, which encouraged early experimentation with chemistry and physics. Sir Isaac Newton was interested in alchemy. We, we remember him for, for physics, but his initial interests were, were alchemy. Newton had introduced what we today call the scientific method. At the time, it was revolutionary. He insisted on a new approach to science, which was not to just state rules and maxims, but rather the idea that science had to prove itself over and over again, and that each hypothesis stood ready to be taken down by the next one, essentially. The scientific method is like a, a razor designed to separate what we can prove is real from those things which are simply claimed. They looked at lightning, they looked at earthquakes, they looked at other natural phenomena, and they sought natural explanations. It wasn't enough for them to say, God wills this. You have to remember, that during this period of the Enlightenment, when these scientific ideas were coming to the fore, the church was the ultimate authority about how the world worked and what you should believe. And what was so revolutionary about the scientific method is that it was essentially democratic. It said that no power, no person, uh, no, no organization, no ruler can tell you what reality is. This was not just an incredible advance in human knowledge, but also, at the same time, a lot of skepticism towards the role of these institutions that heretofore had been utterly beyond questioning in these societies. Once you begin this discovery, this, this method of scientific knowledge, you can't put it back. It's like letting a genie out of a bottle. The scientists have been finding out ever since that truth, according to scientists, changes all the time. Scientists are constantly revising what they think to be true. But nonetheless, they hold on to that, that idea that truth is out there and we can gain it, we can find it through the scientific method.